So we're here in Maggie Valley and I'm sitting with Dale Watzler and he's from Wheels Through Time. So Dale, tell me, what is Wheels Through Time? You know, I think Wheels Through Time is a really a consummate collection of rare American motorcycles, but primarily this is a collection of people's lives. And when I speak of that, I'm talking about 110-year-old motorcycles and who built, rode, and raced those motorcycles really all the way through modern times. That's fascinating. But why Maggie Valley? I knew you would eventually show up. <laughs> no, actually, that is kind of the answer. You know, the Great Smoky Mountains are where people ride and enjoy motorcycling. And uh, looking at um, a map of our wonderful country, what better place to have a museum than in the heart of it all is where people ride bikes. You know, the Smoky Mountain National Park is the most visited national park in the country. And this is where our friends gather to enjoy two wheels and three wheels. No doubt about it. It's a beautiful area where we are. Lots of riding here. So, initially, what brought you into collecting motorcycles? Oh, it's not really a real difficult story. I just found a passion in the motorcycle world when I was probably 13 years old. And um, I think I had my first bike at 14. It was an old Harley, and I restored it when I was a kid. And I've just stayed with it, and I've just found a passion for history, and I have found a passion for the American motorcycle. So, basically, your hobby is, is your job or your job is your hobby. I mean, what better way, right? Well, some people say that if you enjoy what you do, you never have to go to work. And sure. I enjoy uh, every aspect of this. I think the thing that I personally uh, enjoy the most uh, in my experience here every day is I try to meet almost everybody who walks in the door here. And uh, I meet the most interesting people. So I think the benefit of Wheels Through Time for myself is meeting some of the nicest, most intelligent people in the world that all have a great story to tell. Yeah, that's a nice compliment. And yes, I, I do see your point. So when you say, how many um, items do you have here? How many motorcycles would you oh, guess? Oh, you know, I think there's over, there's over 300 rare, rare machines here, all American. Uh, as far as memorabilia and small items, countless pictures and posters. Um, uh, so I think that uh, the experience that one has when they come here um, I think we generally exceed expectations. People have no idea when they walk in the front door what is in this museum. Yeah, I can imagine. And the exhibit is beautiful. It's very nicely displayed. You see so many items and very well kept too. And you add, constantly add to new models, new bikes. So what was your latest adventure you were telling me earlier? We were just out in Colorado and I found two unknown versions of Harley-Davidson factory works racing bikes, unknown to historians around the world. And uh, these machines were kept in incredibly great condition and high and dry in Central City, Colorado, which is a mountain town west of Denver. And these bikes were so well preserved that it took virtually uh, a small amount of work to make them both fully operational. And it was very exciting. That's, that's really exciting. And uh, I was thinking, we're having our event this year in Maggie Valley. We have our touring weekend, July 11 through yes. 14. And we would love to have you there and bring some of your exhibits. and. They all start, or most of them start. So, can we expect you there? Well, I think you'll remember last year my friend Bob and I came to the seminar. I let Bob ride one of my bikes and he slipped under the tent in the wet grass, hit the front brake, made a dramatic slide into the event. We're not going to do that again, but we'll be at your event. Not as, as full of action, but yeah, please don't. No accidents. No accident. But that was absolutely one of the highlights of our touring weekend. Yes, we'd love to have you here again. and. Um, well, thank you very much. We looked some more. But there's one more thing. Yes. Tell me about your show. Oh, we have a new show on the Velocity Network. We've been actually producing the show since last Labor Day, about almost almost uh, 10 months ago. We produced eight shows. They will air on the Velocity Television Network starting June 18th, uh, I believe 10.30 on June 18th, and we run for eight weeks. Oh, that's fantastic. And how many miles did you travel only to get to all those items? I think I drove 38,000 miles to produce the show, which is called What's in the Barn. And it's kind of a picker show, but at the same time, what we pick, we find something to do with. Whether it's racing a 100-year-old bike, rebuilding a bike, uh, finding uh, a treasure that somebody would like to sell and find a new home for us. So it's kind of a picker show that always has a happy ending. That's fantastic. So, Dale, thank you very much. June thank 18, you. we're going to watch the show. And we thank will you. see you at the rally in July. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very thank much. Thank you.